Well, good morning, everyone. Pastor Corey Rowan here with Your So First, Pleasant Grove, and Tippecanoe United Methodist Church. And we are now beginning the season of Lent. Lent starts today, known as Ash Wednesday, which means we are 40 days away from Resurrection Day. That is when we, we celebrate the, the risen Lord as Jesus rose from the grave. It is, a, the, it is the day that we call Easter. However, I, I call it Resurrection Day because Easter gives it a connection to the pagan god of springtime and the pagan holiday that was originally created around Easter. So I call it Resurrection Day. It means we're 40 days away from Resurrection Day. And in this season of Lent, I in this Ash Wednesday, I want to share with you a verse out of Psalm 42, verse 2. And it says, I thirst for God, the living God. When can I go and stand before him? Now, I pray that is your heart every day. I pray every day you could say, I thirst for God, the living God. But especially during the time of Lent. Lent is the season to prepare us for Easter. Oftentimes for Lent, people will fast. I fast every Friday for Lent. Additionally, I will give up something that I really, really enjoy. Uh, for me, I usually give up sweets because that that gives me a little bit of a, a way of of denying myself because that's an important part of Lent. But the biggest part of Lent is is taking time out of your schedule to give God extra time. And so when I fast, I don't just stop eating for meals. I stop eating meals and then I use the time that I would normally be eating meals to spend with God. That's the whole point of fasting is you give something up in order to replace it with God. And so for the season of Lent, may this verse say... And may you feel that you thirst for God. You hunger for God. You know, when my stomach starts grumbling, I, I fill it with the Lord. I hunger for God. Food is only temporary satisfaction. The Lord is forever. And so, not just for Lent, but every day, may you say, I thirst for the Lord. May you want the living God. And may you desire to go and stand before him. And we know that the way we get, the way we can go stand for, before God is through Jesus Christ, our risen Lord. So won't you serve him today and won't you prepare your hearts for resurrection day? Amen.